Okay, it's time for another Gundam manga review. Um, I picked up the latest issue of Gundam WF from Bandai. This is Volume 2. Uh, Hicks are Fermi. And, um, this, uh, the Salah Suit. And I think this is the Abahol. Well, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how to pronounce their names. But you can yell at me in the comments. So, um, let me see. Let me bring this up just a little bit. Adjusting the camera. Um, it was alright. It was pretty good. I had already read it online, but still, I want to... I want to have something to read on the train. It was a one-day read, so that worked out well. I am thinking of, like, picking up the Japanese versions um, in Book Off, if I can find them. Book Off is a uh, used... Um, it's a store that sells used Japanese stuff in Manhattan. It's right that... It's that street right in front of the New York Public Library where they filmed Ghostbusters, the one with the lions in the front. It's pretty good. So I, I want to get the Japanese ones so I can use them as reference without having to worry about um, reading. Because <laughs> I don't want to destroy these, which I can read, but the Japanese ones, I don't know. It's just pretty pictures. So we get some color pages the beginning and uh, the part that I like about this book there's this moment here where um, Celeste uh, it's the end of season one so um, Fawn goes out into Astria and um, there's a whole bunch of wreckages of GNXs, and there's a GN drive, so he takes it. And um, Hanayo says, like, uh, there's some UN forces in the direction of that solar react, um, in the direction where that solar reactor drifted from. So this is the reactor for the Kyrios. Uh, the Meister may have been captured. Should we rescue him? And Fawn's like, ha! A guy who can't wipe his own ass shouldn't be a Meister. <laughs> and then, um, they, they see, uh, like, a, a bit of a mobile suit. The unit is drifting out into deep space, and he, Fawn's like, it's in my way. And he kicks it, and it's Patrick Colossar. He's in there. He's like, whoa, what the... Taisa, um, <laughs> Colonel, <laughs> and then they approach the next target. It's the drifting remains of Denali, and um, Hanaya. Hanayo is like Tieria, and the solar reactor is gone. It must have already been ejected, and. Um, <clears throat> Fawn says, there's nothing here for me, let's go. And um, she says, wait, Fawn. And he's like, hmm. So she's like, he lost Vade as well. I want to save that young man. If only I could reach out. And then um, Fawn says, come on, let's go. And they just leave. They leave the area drifting in space. Um, eventually, I guess he gets picked up by... Um, the Ptolemaeus, as we can, as if you've seen the cutscenes for the end of the Gundam Double O game, uh, he gets picked up. So it's it's a pretty good. That's the moment that stood out most for me. But I'm liking this. This is very interesting. I just wanna. I just hope it doesn't stop because I've read up to here on on the internet at mangafox.com but I want to see what um, what happens in the next issue and then there's an announcement for ish, um, volume 3 of Gundam 00 which has a cool cover I'll pick it up it's just 10 bucks it's the price of a of a Voyager and then there's Code Geass 
which I don't like. All right. Do I recommend this? You already heard me say it's 10 bucks. This is the price of a Transformers Voyager. I mean, until any until new cooler Transformers come out, which they will be coming out. Um, if until they come out, or if you could find Braun, he looks pretty cool. Then I would recommend picking up something to read. Why not feed your brain? All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.